everyone, Boomer here, and welcome back to another NBA Rival Week on 2K Sports. This next matchup, as I'm about to be bringing you on for the next two teams. This is where it calls from here the all-time favorite, Detroit Pistons, versing against Boston Celtics. Now, here's what they've done here before. They played each other in the playoffs five times from 1985 to 1991, with the Boston winning in 1985 and 87, and Detroit winning an end route for the three consecutive NBA Finals appearances from 1988 to 1990. The rivalry peaked in the late 1980s, featuring the players such as Larry Bird, Kevin McCall, Robert Parrish, Dennis Rodman, Isaiah Thomas, Joe Dumars, and Bill Langbeer. Now, they were their first meeting that they have already got been played, and this is whatever happens here on November 12, 1948. This was the biggest upsetting of the game that we always seen. Pistons tried to do their best to get out of here, but this is not always easy enough of how much they done. It was a great scoring run of Celtics 84 over Pistons 75. And the last meet, latest meeting was the part that they've done before, where on the end of the year, the Pistons couldn't make the win as the Celtics won in overtime, and this was the biggest upsetting game ever saw. And they will be playing back again in Detroit on March 18th. That will be our next part of the game as to keep our eyes steady on the NBA app. Here are the starting lineups. Killian Hayes, Jaden Ivey, Bohan McGonovich, Isaiah Livers, and Jalen Duran. Unfortunately, no cutting hands for tonight as he's already injured here on the list. And we might find out who will be playing with the replacement if the other players can take over without Cunningham. And on the other side for Boston Celtics, we have is Drew Holiday, Derek White, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, and Chris Stapp Porzingis. KP for sure, and JT. Now it's time to send you down to TD Garden Arena. First getting by, I have is Terry Crews, along with the ever commentators of the game, Life Free, and a third commentary, Clover, and she's back. Right now, let's get the game started. All for you guys. Let the rivalries begin. And now, let's meet your starting lineups of your Boston Celtics. And for the off division, 86.5, number four, Drew Holiday. Head gone. Six four. Number nine. Derek White. Big, big man. Standing seven two. Number eight. Chris Tapporzingis. Head ball four. Six six seven. Number seven, Jalen Brown. That's four. Number zero, Jason Tatum. Your head coach for your Boston Celtics, Joe Mazzulla. Make some noise for Boston Celtics. Good evening everyone, it's Terry Crews. I'm here at Boston right now at the TD Garden Arena. We got a great rival matchup between the Boston Celtics and Detroit Pistons. Terry Crews along with my broadcasting partner, along with the other side, with Light Ring and Clover, and David Aldridge is on the sideline too. The starting group is on the inbound. Tata and Hayes are the key matchups of in between. But we are looking to see who has the right position to take on with the hit. You know, I really love how this turned out. This is going to be like an exciting game, and I'm thinking there's going to be one way to two for another. You know, I'm pretty excited to see what's going on around here. So I guess it's going to be a fun one for tonight. We start with the tip-off right now as we're all fueled up and ready to go. Holiday is covered up here by Ace. Van Ives has it here on Tatum. 
White is also here with Chris Sapp, Porzingis, and Jalen Brown in small four by Boban McDonovich. First point comes in for Jalen Brown. He has his first bucket of the night against Detroit. I know what he does. Because he can shoot really that often, he may have a lot of discourtesy to give out all he wants. Not just for him, but it may be turned out to be one way to another. Can't tell why. Almost deflected, rebound, takes an inbound with a layup drive for Jason Tatum. He has his first bucket of the night, because about 6'10 to go. Now here's Hayes, he'll have it out in the corner. Inbound delivers again to Ivy. Screen coming, in middle, Ivy. Two-pointer misses off the target. You know, I'm not always crazy about it because this is what happens now because they were playing and most of the time in this one part of a career, they've already made a great setup to make the win out of anybody else. They've been doing a lot much more. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh my! Jason Tatum on just a good, good and bound. And you know that dunk may never be absolutely insane enough, do you? Not at all. <laughs> Here's Hayes. He passed off to McDonovich. McDonovich on the screen with the layup and a first foul calls on Chris Tapp Porzingis. That'll be their first team foul for Boston Celtics. Coming up in the last game against the win against Minnesota, it was all for Jalen Brown and turned out the biggest play as they have ever done before with the career of success. You know, you know, I'm definitely really happy enough to say that every team does it for all. Because in that case, they've really been trying to like show them up with encouragement and just to keep that one eyes on it. But, you know, the same thing always happens and I dare say they've been on a struggle to succeed. McDonovich hits the first free throw. You know the fact right now because Bobon McDonovich really has a lot of encouragement. Just to note the team right away, because they've been on a struggle run to take the win, and they weren't in the playoffs that long. Last vote, it was happened here in 2017, but it was not enough to make the win at the loop necessary. So therefore, it's a hard one to try to step in. Second free throw good for McDonovich. Here's Jalen Brown, he will send it on the other side of the court. Pass off to Tatum. I will swing it over again to Derek White. Near the corner is Tatum. Deliver the yard. Rebound and covered up by Ivy. You know, that is not where it turns out because that three pointer was impossible for Jason Tatum. He got to give him a little bit more help. There are a pass against the Hayes. Looking it over on the floor. Livers for the two. He doesn't go in that time. Derek White's got his first rebound of the night with only under five minutes to go. Now he swings to Porzingis. Now swings back to Jason Tatum. Tatum again to White. White on McDonough. Swings up again to Drew Holiday. With the two, releasing a jump shot went off the rim and it goes back the other way as Derek with the first rebound. Here's McDonough. Tries to look in and cut him out, and that one got sailed out of here as Dern has that bucket down with the layup. Uh, Dern may have that layup in there, but you gotta scoot this over if you wanna take care of that. He passed again to White. Here's a three for Brown. That rolls in and out. Another missing three pointer for Boston Celtics. Well, they're trying to do this one. I don't know what to say, but this is not what they were doing. Just before and after, you just gotta lay go with the shot. Just know the truth. Here's Holiday on a cut about finding it to Brazingas. Now he looks to Tatum. Tatum again to Brown. Brown on the cutting down, and he scores it layup. Jalen Brown with his second bucket, and Jason Tatum with the assist. He looks like he's gonna have to get more out of there, just like he can. The finishing arm flows it in. This one is back down by two. Looks like the Pistons wants to show them again if they want to put a revenge on them. No, we're saying never. Here's Porzingis with the fade on the shot. He finds again a holiday. He fades it to White. 
Just seven down to shoot on a, a shot clock. Step back, and two's good for Drew Holiday. He finally has his first bucket. Derek White with the assist. You know, that's a great connection when you go with from Derek White. So you always give it out to Drew Holiday. It's a special one to take for credit. First time on call by Detroit, and they will have it under three minutes remaining with just coming down to the nearing end of the first period. Now, and to say about this, they were really on a dominating run here, and he all called for a greater player, Larry Bird, and also Paul Pierce, and definitely, of course, Kevin Garnett. They were one of the bestest players here after this one turned to be the end for Larry Bird for the run of the Boston Celtics season for retirement. Is this really going to happen if Jason Tatum wants to set up a new high career record? Well, I may be looking it over at this point. Maybe he wants to be in here for just a couple more years right now before his retirement. But I don't think that the coaches and the uh, NBA officials are going to agree that. They might be keeping in for a longer season for the run because he's well enough. He's a legendary from University of Duke. They might be showing him like, oh yes, because Jason Tatum, he's like a big star. Make him feel good and as long as a crowd of him, I know that JT can deliver it all and he wants to go for it. You know the thing? Because the fact of this, you gotta make the connection go in. It's all Jason Tatum and for everybody else who can do for everyone. That's the key to succeed. New changes coming in for Detroit Pistons and for the Celtics. A couple new players are checked out and a couple new players are checked in. Derek White, however, he had made a free throws with 90 percentage. Locking this game was turning low, but he might be looking for more if he could step up again. Well, probably not occasionally. Maybe there might be another tough solution. Here's Thompson with a two, making an inbound and drive. He has the first two buckets of the game. They're back down by two, with 2.40 to go. Man, that's a little bit of an open look. Here's Pritchard, pass again to Derek White. Now, swings across the woofer. And in this one, goes back over to Derek White. He only has nine points in this game, but made that great win to have it all coming in over by Minnesota. He just made out every season count, and that one puts up in a new highest career record over Minnesota. There might have been a change off for Derek White. You may have a tough feeling on that. You got to make that one a good look of the out on the side of the offense. But I'm thinking there might be a change off if they wanted to go for it again, just to know about. Horford finds a bounce pass to Pritchard. Face a shot, three for Horford. Another miss by Boston. Oh man, I don't know if the three pointers are going to help him out, but they just got to do this again. Here's a drive. Oh, he just slams it down as Thompson has his first dunk of the game. They're just trying to get over this. Now, here's Hauser. Hauser on the throwdown, and this one goes with a foul. Thompson with his first personal, and their first team foul calls for Detroit. Uh, I mean, if he's going to get that throwdown right away, Sam Hauser would have to be careful at that range. That's going to be a tight one. The battle of the range that might save Sam Hauser, he might do it for all. First ship of the free throw line will be coming in for Sam Hauser, with under 90 seconds remaining in the first period. He gets the first free throw. You know, when, when we talk about this, you know Sam Hauser, he had made that his ultimate correct record. He might have been putting up for a real test. And this all has to be determined to be one kind to make the man do any. Do you think this will be a possible run if uh, Sam Hauser can receive it? Well, there might be one change. I might say Sam Hauser may be going for another double-time career record. He might be just like, yes, this is my opportunity run. Because of the bench points, that's what hurt me. I can deliver it things right away on. It might be a good idea if Sam Hauser can do that one. Gordon with the block! That's the first block of the game for the Celtics. You gotta reject that shot out of here.
He finds Sasha with a two. The elbow point is no good. Horford has his first rebound of the game and now will give it over again to Cornet. He now finds Pritchard. Pritchard on the run, now he goes over again to Horford. Get back to Pritchard. Dish off to White. For the cut in bounds, from paint is good. Derek White with his first bucket of the night. He has two, and they're up by six. Here's another fast break coming in. Saucer, trying to give it up to Wiseman. Cornet on him, here's Thompson. On a shot, two block in a row by Cornet. But the rebound puts up for Wiseman. You know, I never say that Cornet never built a block out there because there's a lot of team comparison with the blocks. You've got to get away with that. You I mean, that's great defense. Tell me now. Richard for three, it's good. He finally has his first three point of the night as he has right now three. This Detroit trail by seven. 20 seconds in the first period. Backs it up. Now he finds Burks. Burks, right toward the corner, near the paint. It's good. He makes the first two-pointer in. Now Pritchard will have his own time. He have it over to Horford. Horford, on the tip. With a reach, it's good. Pritchard finally gets his second bucket. And that ends the first period with a 21-14 lead. They're just going to get that started to go right up towards the spots. This lead has gone crazy enough to keep it going. You might be thinking, get right to it. Oh, pointers, lucky luck. First period comes to an end. Second quarter is coming up after the break. And if you're just tuning in, we've got the second period coming in action in Boston. As right now, we're starting off right away. Now, you can see right now, they've been playing it really well to go right eye for the prime. Let's start off with you there, Lake Frey. How does it really turn out that the Boston Celtics have played against the Pistons? Well, in my case in honor, in fact, might be a termination in between those two. But a stronger it may have to be encouraging. They may have just well done a lot of them in Pacific way. They haven't really been training a lot of like uh, routine work skills. They've been going from all over the place. You never know what's gonna happen like that. And I know they're not. Well in that case there might be a one change off and there's a lot of the players that are trying to go in back. Hopefully we'll get to see them all right now. Here's Holiday. He's with Brown and right now with, Kirk, with Derek White. And it's Christophe Porzingis right in the center and Jason Tatum on the outside. Here's White. Coops it up and in as White gets his fourth second bucket of the night. That's what Derek White does. He knows how he can definitely handle it. Well, he hooked the pass. He flicked it. And it's on the Troy ball. They will still keep their possession. Took a look at Jalen Brown. For this season, only had 23 points in per game. Last one was 35, including the playoff game. You know, I'm really sure enough that Jalen Brown has been really going over a bit of tricks. You know what I'm saying? Because they've really been doing this a lot of a bunch of times. They're doing this one a lot harder. Five on a shot clock. Over Holiday. Another miss by Detroit. Porzingis has got his second rebound of the night. He gives off to Drew Holiday. Now he will swing to Tatum. Deep three. Hit off the rim soon. And it was over again to take another rebound for McDonough. The screen coming for McDonough. Pass to Durbin. On a shot. Good by McDonough. Shall be getting his assist. We have a report from David Aldridge right now at this moment. That's right, Joe Mazzula has been talking over with his uh, team. And he has been uh, doing a quote right between the postseason, the last postseason of the game, to this postseason coming, if they can try to keep on coming down. Well, there might be one way that they can try to change that one else. I know they were, they didn't play so much hard, but this wasn't the only day. Maintain it just become right away. 
I never noticed when this is going to happen. Here's Holiday, Braxton Brown. He get back to Holiday. Deep bounce pass, it's stolen by Ivy. First steal for the turnover, four to the Detroit Pistons. Duran finds Hayes. Double man on him, by Duran. Duran looking for some space. Seven on a shot clock. Vigonovich over White. Takes a rebound, and I won't dunk it in for Duran. Detroit down by five. Here comes KP on a mark breakaway. Good to go. Kristaps Porzingis finally takes his first bucket, and Drew Holiday with the assist. He has his first one down. Make an appearance, Ron. You know that KP does it for all for anybody. Here's McDonough. Finds Durant. Hayes on the outside. Shot clock down to five. Silver again. The two pointer missed off the mark. They just gonna have to like keep that strong out of here. They don't even need to try to like keep passing it down. Not even a choice. When anybody else can, they gotta do something else. Or they get for the drive, it's good. That's it will be a second bucket. They were back up by nine. Just keep it running, just keep it going. Pass delivers. He's covered by Tatum. Trying to hold on with a drive. It's good. And a breakaway chain comes in. Cut down back by seven. Now, here's Holiday. He passes over again to White. Now space back to Tatum. Tatum got loose. And this one goes back to White. Fakes a shot. Here's a free for Tatum. And there's the foul. But the loose ball has been picked up here for Brzingis. That'll be a second. I don't know how to count that bucket. Because if this happens, I never see what was going on like this. But that is crazy he got that one. Why right didn't Well, if this would have been a turnover, they would have counted that as a no shot. And that was tricky. Time out call by Detroit Pistons with only 234 left to go in the first half of the period. Now, they were saying it before, they're coming in with a big title in this game. But they are just trying to keep this thing going back to leg again. You know what happens right now when I've got a good feeling of what, what the two teams got? They really are pushing B. Do you think that the Boston Celtics will be the next one to get back in the playoffs and get back into the conference finals? Well, it might be one change. I'm really not sure how this will happen. Because they're really at a start and they're fighting for this. They may not have another chance to make that opportunity run. But they are just trying to like push it back. That pressure is going to be a hard one for the Boston Celtics team to try to race back in to the conference finals. Because they're playing against the underdog team. They're going to definitely lose it again. So I am not sure if you're going to like keep an eye on it. But this might be how tough this is. You may never get there. Well, I would love to see what Boston Celtics. I don't know how much they're going to do, how well they're going to play. Well, you never get to. It's one way to win out. Can't count on it for anybody. Coming up later, we'll be the halftime show. As right now, we have is Irving Johnson and Kenny DeJustman, along with Chad O'Neill. That will be the first half of the game for the Boston Celtics and for the Detroit Pistons. That will be right underway after the first half is closed. KP checked out as Al Horford and Cornet checked in. Matt Lee Lefer passes to Saucer. Here's Curran on a shot. Oh my! Cornet just takes that ball out of here. Wow! What a force man he knows. If there is another block out there, I know that Cornet was going to deliver it all. That's number three. Or four, I should admit. <laughs> Just correct me if I can. Bridget on Saucer. Pass this over to Thompson. Five on a shot clock. Corner, will he do it? Oh, it's revenge. That Thompson put a slam down. And this one cutting back down by eight. Here's Tatum. With only two minutes remaining in the first half of the period, as Brown gives it back to Tatum. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Finds Pritchard. 
Pritchard gives to Al Horford. He shoots over Batley to Ferg. That nice shot. Great D by Batley to Ferg. And you never know what Batley to Ferg does because when he does on defense, he wants to get his attention. Rebounded. Brings back up. It's good for Durant. He's got another two point bucket score, and right now he has 10. Just down to 90 seconds remaining in the first half. Corner with the ball. He looks again to Pritchard. Wants to go for it. Corner with the screen. And coming in bad. Good, good rebound by Cornet. And will count the bucket in. Cornet got his first bucket and a foul called on Durin. Well, they're in the way right now. And they never saw that one. There's going to be a never personal foul on their team. They're in trouble now. Looks like they're going to get a bonus. Durin checked out. That's why he's been checked in. And Cornet at the line for one. You know I love Cornet because how much he does. Maybe it's because of the defensive lockness. They're changing it over. They want to do it again. And he makes a free throw. Yes, Saucer hasn't scored anything here in the first half. But Wiseman picks up. Good team by Cornet. But he will pick up that game. And that will be his first bucket of the night. Now Brown. He will pass off to Horford. Here comes Brown in the middle. Good pass for Horford. As Jalen Brown has his fourth bucket of the night. That will be another one for the Boston Celtics to gain up the lead. Now, that lead with Fur. Get back to Thompson. Shoots over Tatum. Another miss by Detroit. Wolford got his second rebound of the night, and now will give over again to Pritchard. Laying the clock wind down as Wolford is on a lane. Wants to have it again to, to Cornet. Up with the two. That rolls in and out. And all alone, here he comes. And that will take the scoop and drive. They're down by seven. Racing in between. You never know how it's going to get there. Here's Richard. We'll have it over to get a corner with the, the vice beater. And that one is off the rim. That ends the first half. 37 30 is the score as we take a quick break. But first, let's go to David Aldridge. David. Thanks, guys. Here with Jason Tatum. You have been rolling early. How did you get in that rhythm? Uh, just staying aggressive. Uh, just continue to get in the jam and uh, see something going in. It was good to see him going early. It was good to have us have a good start. Uh, we'll keep it up. Yeah, it was flowing great in that first half, Jay. Thanks very much. Back to you guys. Okay, thank you so much, David. We'll see you later after the halftime show. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the Yo, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Out in front of the half is Boston. They have a nice seven-point lead. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on Boston? Well, what I like, the ball never stopped moving. Working the players. Everyone working in unison. Love to watch this play in the basketball. We've got a whole other half of it. So excited, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Kenny, what'd you think about Detroit? Kenny G on the beat was good for disappointment. They were slow to rotate, communication was bad, no effort. I mean, the intensity on that end of the floor, where it needs to be, was just not there. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. You've been watching the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back at TD Garden Arena where we start off the third quarter. It's all for everything that we got a great look in between a corner and a nice rejection out of here. This really has been turning out great and we're hoping to get more. Now we start off the second half. Drew Holiday is the third one. Then we have a 
across here is Chris Dapportinas, Jason Tatum, and Jalen Brown in towards the corner. One thing I really love about Hornet, they were really been showing it off like it's a study in technology, showing the rejection out of them. It's a physical contact that does have a core. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what everyone does. They really like to take the physical contacts to go with a one-on-one -on -one opportunity. That's what they usually do. Yeah, I like the way I'm like, feeling a bit. They've really been going over it again. And that's a oh, ho, ho, ho! My goodness, Jalen Brown slams it! You gotta be kidding me, aren't you? That Jalen Brown just like slammed it. Wow! That is a monster as oh my goodness. What a great re replay here by Jalen Brown, presented by AT&T, the 5G Slam Cam. And a foul will be called on Jason Tatum. That's his fourth personal and her first team foul for Boston, with six minutes gone by. Two shots. He is the first free throw. And he misses off for the second. One out of two for Jalen Durant, and I'll be up here back down by ten. Here comes Seda. Feed off to Holiday. Bounce past the ground. Shoots over McDonovich. Tough shot. What a great D by McDonovich. You know you never get there anyway because when you try hard, you just miss that shot. That's what everybody does. The rebound put back in. Lost that one. And KP takes the rejection. Seda. Here's White. The finish. And he's fine. Kevin Aids with his first personal. And another team foul for Detroit. 527 left to go in a third period. And they are trying to look for another tackler to get on the leaderboard to beat over Hayes and Ivy. Well, it might be one thing. Derek White hasn't really done with a lot of much shooting. All he does now is a passing. It's just, you can't just get away with this. That's because of how much he does. He does a lot of this percentage. It's a free throw. Another free throw coming up here for the Boston Celtics. The first one sends it in. Now I never know what Derek White has done, but all that case is if it does happen to be proven it, he might be getting it over it and get it done. Do you think this will happen again? Well, I'm not pretty entirely sure if Derek White, he might have us going over with his NBA career record on it. Well, maybe at this point average, he might be staying out of it. He might go for more in the coming next seasons in between. So he might be uh, crunching himself to go with uh, cruise control. Maybe that might be one thing. Hopefully, they're going to get it done. Here's Hayes on holiday. Screen coming. Double man defender. Three for livers on the outside. Durant over KP. And that one misses off the wide of the net. Jalen Brown has his fourth rebound of the night, and they will give it over to KP. We'll give it over again to Holiday, and we have a report from David Aldridge that he made his way as right now Monte Williams really talked with the head coach here, and all for saying for Detroit, he may have had an inspiration after uh, after coaching with the Suns, but now this season he wants to get into this one with the Suns to Detroit of the Pistons. They really are need to do something else to try to let go of a different plan switch to get them right through it. Well, there might be another change off we may never get there. It's whatever happens, you've got to get some little courage here. Show your respect to the fans. And you want to do some little bit more timing. It may be one thing. We don't know what will this happen. And just 
to say right now, do you, do you think that one of the most NBA head coaches might have it all? Well, I don't know. Well, maybe if you win a chance, there might be a number way that they can get through. With the best coach of the uh, season, they might give it all down they go. Well, I guess they're, they might be one of the best head coaches. And they go with their own NBA one. Who never knows? Gwen Sawyer? Nick Nurse? Detroit Pistons. The NBA on Rival Week on 2K Sports is brought to you by State Farm. Call or get a free court now at 1-800-STATE-FARM. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Ralph Holmes, the official chip of the NBA. by Starry Line. With our upcoming games right now, nearing and close right now to the All-Star game, as right now we've got our next matchups in between. It's all for every game, as we've got the Timberwolves and Magic on its way right now with game number 10. Following along with the next part of the game here with the All-Star game, it'll be happening underway soon, so keep your eyes peeled for the rising star and for the NBA All-Star. That'll be underway shortly to keep your eyes on the prize. That'll be all here on Son of Beats. Now, here's Ivy. As Sam Moses checked in. Here's the number two. That went off the mark. Not so good at all. I mean, you just gotta keep on shooting whenever you get there. White paid the shot, and now Hauser and over again to Tatum. Tatum looking it over. Give a bounce pass to Hauser. Now KP will have it. Off with the two, it's good. Sam Hauser has the assist down. KP with six. Now that's a great passing. That's where you want to get there. Good one for Sam Hauser tonight. Jordan on KP. And the offensive foul is picked up on Detroit. I'll be on Hayes with the Spurs, and it turns it over to Boston Ball. Oh boy, <laughs> I guess that there is a change, and there's an oopsie. That's what happens now. As the Burks is checked in, and Bagley the forward is checked in, forward to Detroit. It's Holiday, you will have it over again to White. He gives back over again to Tatum. Screen coming for KP. Nowhere to go. Here's a three for Holiday. And that goes too strong. Another rebound has been picked up for Detroit. And now to back the airway. Here's Hayes. On again to Holiday. Passes to Ivy. Ivy back to Hayes for three. That went off the mark. And a miss by Detroit. They're not getting so well at all. I mean, they're just trying to get a lot of three players to make a comeback switch. Probably back down again to begin the group. Here's KP, around Bagley, and it's good! Nice shot here for KP. He has number eight. Again, here's Hayes. Passes to Ivy. Ivy. Screen up back in the front with a shot. Oh, give me that! And that puts the rebound for Bagley the Fur. Oh, I never got that one eye on that. It looks like that Bagley the Fur was trying to make a rebound out of him. And KP with the dunk. Oh! <laughs> that was I just only said. KP with the dunk. After a block. Well, I never see how this comes out. That's a great cutting. Here's Hayes following up at the slam dunk and the throwdown by KP. Here's an outrun for Bagley to Fur. Now back to Ivy. Here's Madonich. Tries to look it over in the paint. In the middle, he scores a drive. And number two, Blair from Madonich. Past 30 seconds in the third quarter. As Tatum gives it over to Holiday. Tatum, D3. Misses the target. And it's Bagley to Fur with the rebound. 
He's just trying to get a deep throw, just like Stephen Curry does. But I don't think he really didn't get there enough in time. And True Holiday sends it back. Here's White. And Tatum inside. Good. Tatum has 11. An assist by Holiday. Now that's what you need to do. Just lead out the green team. You gotta do it all. Back to Ivy for three. It's good. Back on the outside it goes. And they're back to being crushing it down by 13. I'm sorry, back down by... Yeah, back down by 13. I was right. Here's Tatum. Tatum trying to look over to Holiday. White. In for the middle. The drive is good. And another two-pointer comes in for the catch flow. Now, here's Ivy. They're trailing by 15. Donovich back to Hayes. Screen on Bagley deferred. Looks in the middle with the two. It's good. Makes a bucket down as Kevin Hayes is not on cold anymore. He just gotten better with his field goal average. While he might do for more, but watch out now. Don't get yourself too cold. Also for the deep three. And it hit off the rim. That ends the third quarter of the period. 55-42 is the score. We've got the fourth quarter. They're rallying it up in the period. Just keep it tight, and we're ready to see what goes on. Next after this, all team, every team. Looking for another block. And a moment now to reveal your State Farm assist of the game. It's just a great way that I really love to see what it is. Just all it does turn that you, whenever you give it off, you've got a great communication to go in. And I've got a great feeling you got to bring it all down. Three quarters are finished, and we are down to the final quarter with a last new change. Holiday is with Derek White. Then it's Cornet up with Val Wolfer. And Jalen Brown is right toward into the corner right over here. Saucers with Burke. Derwin is with Thompson. And Lyles is, check, is on the court to bring on in. You know, I really feel that whenever a team is trying to make a possible run, they're making a score out of them. They really have to do some, a lot of the techniques. Probably on that occasionally, they want you to look good. Here's Thompson up with the two. Takes it back, and a foul will be called on Drew Holiday. That's his first foul. They're taking that number team foul. Keep your eyes on the game, as looks like they are just going to need to try to do something else about it when you get ready for the playoffs. In between the books and, of course, the are sign with the Raptors. If they wanted to get back in there, they've got to do some more help with their offense. Free throws coming up here for Detroit Pistons, as Durant's on the free throw line. Makes the first. And another new staging possible run will be Pritchard checking in for Drew Holiday. He hits his second free throw. Last time it was 1 0, 1 and 2. But finally he has two buckets down. Here's Pritchard. And White, here he goes. Oh, he made that one in there without the foul call. And that's 10 points for Derek White. You know, don't slow down. Just keep going. Ball squeeze. And Pritchard has it all. Here they come on the fast break. Cornet to slam it. And boom. That's what Cornet does. You make him feel powerful. Here's another one, and oh, there's a revenge back out there. Durant just said, is that a finish where you're going to take? I don't think so. Well, not a keep out look here. Get out of here. Number one for White. He passes again to Pritchard. Pritchard again to Hooper. Moving the bounce pass, almost lost it. Back to Horford. Here's Pritchard for the free. Triple range, Cup. He has eight points in the game, and 
up the extension rod. Here's a pass to Saucer. Screen coming. And the offensive foul has been going to be a personal foul for Pritchard. With his first personal. And his second team foul for Boston. Just about 5.15 left to go in the fourth quarter. Just keeping an eye on the clock. Now, here's Sterling. Lewis on Horper. New changing. With a foul reach. And that will be picked up on Jalen Brown. Back to Sparks. Third team foul on the Boston Celtics. 5.07 left to remain in the fourth quarter. You're getting another free throws for Detroit. You know, don't, don't try to like keep on reaching this. This is what happens right now. If you're doing this one again, you gotta figure it out on your own. That's gonna be a hard one to try to take in. Don't let him keep on scoring. He gets the first free throw. You know, when, when every time when you see what happens here, you see whatever player does, when you get a lot of a, a lot of a working reps and you do something else about him, you just gotta keep on going. And then take that free throw chance to uh, to make another one go in. While they're trying to get this one straight. I never know what's gonna happen like that, but hey, just a thing. I've got a good feeling when this is gonna happen when the Pistons are gonna try to like keep adding the free throws in there. They might get their pass. And I never know what's gonna be like this. But let's say they're gonna be okay. We might find out what happens. Here's Warford. You get it back again to Richard. Warford will help with the screen now. Up and pass again, and it's good. Nice pass by Richard as Al Warford finally receives his bucket in the fourth. Is it another one attack? And I, oh my gosh! That one turned to be a wraparound dunk by Duran. Great pass. Yeah, no, I never do this when this happens to that point. I never get that one easy. Right in the corner, he now finds again over to Brown. Over with the three. Misses from the range outside. They're losing another three point percentage out there for the Boston Celtics. And it looks like the Pistons are having a little trouble too. And a three-pointer catches in. That one goes again with Litters with another three-pointer. They're climbing back down, looking for more. And that Pritchard to Al Warfer. Over again to Pritchard. Now, he speaks again to White. Bounce pass to Pritchard and rejected by Salsa. Here's Fudge, tops it for three. Rolling in and out. Looking for more room, and he makes that in. Number two pointer for Saucer, and they're back down by 10. They're trying to cluck it in there, but they can't be stopped. Well, make that one clear, they're gonna get there. Because you keep, keep on shooting, you just gotta keep working it. Here's White, finds Pritchard, what a pass by White. And Pritchard has his 10th number points in the game, assisted by White. Back on defense, the screen almost been turned over, and Durham with the ball. He now finds it again to Livers. Watches again, and another great layup drive in for Livers. Another two-pointer coming in, they're going back down by 10. Pritchett, back again to White. Three-pointer for Woodford. The range again and it goes out off the rip. I never get that one. Well. And there's a rejection by White. And now back again to Brown. Here comes Cornet. With the finish, it's good. Cornet gets his nine points in the game. And another team putting an effort. All you can't just do now is just leave him, let him quit. You don't want to make that happen. With the finish run, and Saucer will have that layup in. Timeout call by Boston Celtics with only 2.08 to go. 70 to 59 to go. They have the score. It looks like they're trying to like step back in just in case they can do this one once more. Well, maybe a cover right now. 
You just gotta drink it. You gotta blow up some Gatorade, but just do everything. Do what you gotta do. That's what everyone does. The NBA Rival Week on, EA, on 2K Sports is brought to you by AT&T 5G. Connection changes everything. Fast, fast, reliable, and secure. Your local key dealers. The moment that inspires. And by Sour Patch Kids. And we have some time now to reveal your New Balance Player of the Game. All for the player, it goes to Derek White. And you know what Derek White has usually done? Keep that secret aside. I've got this all coming down. And you know that Derek White really does it all. All pressure does not make sense, but not for always, you get it down. It's all for great things, I can tell you that Derek White has done with his most curriculum of this season. He's doing a big for today, just let him do. We got an approach down to two minutes remaining in the fourth quarter of the period. And now he brings in for Brown. And we have a report for David Aldrich, as we have definitely seen it coming by. Dark White, if you've really been keeping an eye on here, they're making him cook and looking very good. But this all turned out that KP has done it with a lot of his percentage. They might be changing it up at one typical to another. But they might be doing this the whole time. May not be a choice that they're going for, but they want to do another secret again. You know, it's everybody's favorite idea. When you know what you're doing, you just gotta make sure you do it the right way and then keep on coming down. That's the thing that you gotta do. Here's Brown. Now, back again to Holiday. Six on a shot clock with a fade. Stepping down, three for Holbrook. That went too wide off the range. You'll never miss by the Celtics. Ugh, they're just trying to like get the free pointers, but they're not working enough. Just time something else. Maidanovich misses the three too. Well, that's a back switch right now because they're just turning it over and over and over again. Here's a pass to White under minute remaining in the fourth. And now we will give it over to Brown. Bounce pass stolen by Hayes. Here's a fast break. Tries to get right through it. A two. Rebound. And it's picked up by KP. KP will give it over to Drew Holiday. And give it this shot off to Horford. Here's Brown. He will have his one last time in possession. And Holiday will give it over to Horford. Looks like he wants to do it again. Could he get it? Oh, he missed a two-pointer. Well, that's all he did. He just made him feel clear. He just got to go for it. And Horford will take the rebound. And he will finish it over to Drew Holiday. And the clock winds down. What a game for the Celtics. They beat Detroit Pistons. 72-62 is your final score. All does happen to be a change-off. You've got to get believing. It's all what Lee Green does. You make a great win and have it all coming straight. Let's go down to David Eldridge with a closing player of the game on a sideline. David, who do you have? Thanks, Kevin. KP, balanced offensive effort tonight. What did you like about how you played? I think uh, we played as a team. We shared the ball and it was a team effort today. And uh, everybody was involved. Everybody was was uh, playing good offensively, and um, that's why we're able to come up with a win. Really looking good at both ends tonight for stops. Thanks a lot. Back to you, Kevin. All right. Thank you, David. And that about wraps it up with Terry Crews, Silver, and White Brain. This has been a presentation of the NBA Rival Week on E2K Sports. Thanks for joining with us, and see you all again for the next game. Adios, everybody. Terry, thank you very much. And as always, it's been a great also playing with the Battle Clash Vision in the Eastern Conference Showdown. But this one may be a termination.
and it can go for everybody with a play again at the moment. Here's how you do with the total statistics of the game. 63 for the field goals and 38 to 21, three three-pointers going to be turning way off the mark. The only free throws turned to be for the Detroit Pistons with 88 percentage. Fast break points in paint was 8 and 44 for Boston Celtics. 19 second chance points for Detroit. But it was only 25 and 28 assists in the run for Boston Celtics. 13 defensive rebounds for Detroit. 20 defensive rebounds for Boston. 3 steals and 7 blocks turned out with 2 turnovers and 4 points off for Boston Celtics. 3 team fouls have been included on the Clark up on Detroit Pistons and 5 dunks were before for Detroit. Only 18 biggest lead and 15 or 2 was their time of possession for the Boston Celtics. They only had 2 timeouts but they were out of time now because their team is already up in that lead and just trying to like get it back. In the meantime, time to reveal your free star players of the game right away. First star, as we are giving out to a star, we go right over towards the other side of it for the Detroit Pistons, and we've got a great look of it in between. Jason Tatum, 11 points and 2 rebounds, with 3 assists and 1 block as made. 1 dunk is performed in only 5 out of 9 field goal percentage, and only one three-pointer is made. You know, you just do not want to mess this guy up. You know, Jason Tatum, the veteran of University of Duke, you may be just trying to, like, keep him right into it. He might be looking for a face-off between of Kobe White and Jason Tatum. We never know, <laughs> but it might be a great idea. Now, let's head over to the second star player of the game. As right now for New Balance, Derek White, with 12 points, 2 rebounds, 10 assists, and 1 block. He only had that one with the field goal range with 5-5. Five and five. Then it was 34 performance run. He'd gotten great. Use of his skills, keeping the back step stronger, and looks like he's doing really well. Great job for Derek White, and your first star player goes to Jalen Durham. From the Pistons, only had 17 rebound, 17 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, only 22 performance run, and 3 dunks. 7 out of 11 field goals were enough. And that turned like he never gets a free quarter, so he only does for this rebound. That's all you can count on if you get it down right. And that will do for, the, for tonight's game and arrival. If you enjoyed this video, please consider by liking the video. Please feel free to take a moment to subscribe to the channel on Son of Beast and follow him on his social media on Instagram, X, and TikTok. And there are links to the about page. If you want to see some uh, one of the more videos here and you have anything that you wanted to see, to recommend it, please feel free to leave a comment box below and hit that notification bell for that icon for the best way and it's the best way to support for this channel for the work. In the meantime, I guess that's everything is it. I hope you enjoyed it. Stay tuned for another NBA Rival Week and we will be seeing what goes next. There's a never change off. Peace out folks for a while as the NBA Rival Week of 2K Sports Style. This is Boomer saying out of here. Good night, everybody. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.